Hey folks, how are you doing? So first, first shop update, you know, uh, like I promised. So far, it's very basic. I'm still waiting for pretty much most of my equipment. Only thing what I brought so far are my folder and blanks, the small blanks and the grinder. And one thing I knew I'm gonna be getting are these benches. These are actually from Home Depot and I will show you this because these are really good. This is the box from it. And they're always in the lumber part, lumber section. And uh, every Home Depot is different. Um, sometimes it's actually in the lumber, sometimes it's in, in the, by the register at the lumber. But these are really handy. I think they are, I'm not sure now if it's 69 or 79 dollars, but I think it's 69 actually. And uh, for what you're getting, you get 72 inches, 72 inch table, and it works on kind of like those picnic tables. Those, those you don't have to put anything together really. Like those legs fold underneath. They have you know like milled out things, and once you fold them out, you put the shelf there. The shelf comes you know like in the table. So once you fold them out and send the table up, you just slide that shelf in, and it actually comes with two of these little off cuts that you can like I mean there's so many other ways to do it but one of the ways is you know you can just screw this here you know make it tight put two screws there and that kind of enforces the legs so even if you would lose you know like a contact on this even though these are actually sitting in a milled out area so they hold everything together but if you lose that these legs will not fold on you if you screw that little piece of wood there they're very sturdy, you know, the whole construction is 2x4 and then you have this, I don't know what's the English name for, you know, the wood, the composite wood from the little, from the little, like a mm, the wood dust, which is sturdy and uh, very dense. That's the top, you even have a little backboard there where you can screw, you know, even the outlet, uh, that little strip of outlets and they are pretty perfect, you know, for the money I did a lot of research for the workbenches and these are definitely the most affordable, most, uh, not most sturdier, but you know, the price and, and uh, quality and everything, they're even made in the USA, which is pretty cool. So, I got so far four of them, I think I might be getting a fifth one, because I would fit the, fit the fifth one there, and if I really want, I can even put the sixth one over there. But so far, it's more than enough, Original idea here you can see is was I mentioned before that I'm trying to do that I would like to contain the grinders and the blasting cabinet and eventually cabinets too. I would like to contain them in one close area with the hole for the dust collector. Dust collector is already ordered. So it would keep everything clean and uh, it would make the cleaning also easier because you know the dust and everything the closer you can keep it contained, the easier it is for you to clean. But uh, for now, this is, once I opened this thing, I was like in shock because it has bazillion pieces, really. So, you know, I just kind of gave up on it, that I'm not doing this, I'll keep it, and maybe in the winter time, when it gets colder outside, I'll make it build, maybe build it outside of the house, just set it out there in the, in the backyard, you know, to store some other stuff there. But, uh, it's just, it, it is pretty big, this one, this one was 10 by 8, which would be nice, but it would probably take too unnecessarily much space of the, of the working place here, and uh, it would be a nightmare to put together, and then if I ever, you know, decide to move it or shift the whole, you know, whole workshop different way, it would be a nightmare. So I'll probably drop this idea, and uh, I already started doing some research, research for smaller and more simpler designs for containment. I guess for now I'll some good old big heavy duty tarps, cover of the walls, you know cover of the walls around the grinders and maybe hang one tarp or heavy duty plastic on the side to keep this section of the room completely closed off, you know isolated from that section of the room where that's gonna be the clear room where you know there will be drill presses and stuff like that that are very easily cleanable they don't actually dust you know they don't create the dust dust it's all pretty much just shavings and uh, you know stuff like that that are they're just falling off and you can easily vacuum them and you can actually have them vacuum as you drill them so you know it doesn't really create the dust 
uh, you see I just started unpacking them a little bit I'm not sure how I will organize the small stuff uh, might even get one of those if I find some good deal one of those like mechanics uh, chest the, the drawer thing because for all these smaller things like blanks I think it might be ideal and you can just move it around and stuff like that so we'll see because I don't really want to hang stuff on the wall like I had it was ideal over there but we'll see maybe I will look around and maybe I get those spec boards and instead of like screwing it on the wall maybe try to keep it standing just by you know having it behind the table from the floor up we'll see that might actually be that might actually work out very good if I do that we'll see but that's that another thing a pretty cool deal this is a new new thing for me I never, never like was looking into it but once I knew that I will be I will have to look for additional light source for the garage and uh, I knew that I don't want to be screwing you know like regular style lights like that into the ceiling and running the lines for it stuff like that so another solution obviously work lights you know just like good old, old school working lights you know you have the small ones like that you have the large ones on the stands but I found these these were what huskies they were about $35 but these are LEDs actually let me let me turn one off and show you the LED so you do pay a little more on the beginning because these regular this style this size work lights normally are very cheap they're actually about 10 15 dollars but they are really 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 hot when you're running them really with those I think they're halogen light bulbs inside they really create a lot of heat source and a lot of power consumption these obviously LEDs very low on the power consumption and very low on the heat so you know I'm here in Florida so I'm gonna try to keep the heat in the shop as low as possible so you know so far so good and you see I already have it kind of like set up it's just like you know it's holding there it's kind of like tightening up the screws and it's just holding around that garage door thing but I can uh, thinking of maybe picking up two more two more sometime soon and uh, another way is maybe put them like on the on the tables on the corner you know one one shining that way one shining that way and then over here also you know like have them on the table so wherever I work and just grab it and put it put it and shine it the best way I will need for whatever I will be doing or you know maybe yeah maybe keep that one up there to shine from the top and then the other two you know or one where I can just relocate easily grab it and put it where I need it but that's about it, you know, the, those shelves on the bottom are also really good, they will be handy. So what I'm thinking is those will be, you know, uh, probably the dust collector will be somewhere here, standing here, that's actually on the wheel, so it's very easily, you know, I can very easily move it to other areas of the shop. Uh, if I will, you know, do need it for whatever reason somewhere else, which I don't think I will, because most of the need for the dust collector will be actually here all this small stuff like there will be probably drill presses uh, probably one two one two maybe eventually three drill presses and uh, hopefully soon I want to want to spend the money right now but soon I'm planning to buy that mill one of those cheaper manual mills from Grizzly uh, it's about 1200 bucks uh, so that will be probably also there and you know and stuff like uh, Stuff like the Benso, which will also get upgraded soon. Again, I don't want to spend that money right now, like, you know, all together. These are other priorities in the shop to make it work. So the Benso, also the my old table grinder, you know, bench grinder, that will be pretty, pretty much just the buffing wheels on them, on it, on both sides. And what else is there? I think there is that other you know 1 by 30 and 4 by 36 I'll probably set those you know they'll probably be all the grinders will be probably in that area all together and I guess one of the tables will be actually dedicated just for the Kydex so you know stack of Kydex probably on the bottom uh, cut the arbor press you know one of those little cases with the rivets and uh, so like that, maybe even put one of those uh, drill presses right there, so it's all together, you know, completely, completely together. That might kind of make sense, probably. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and as far for electric, I will just, you know, I have bunch uh, one outlet on that side and uh, one outlet on that side, one there. So I will there will be just regular extension cords 
and uh, also for the air, the air compressor will be most likely there, standing by the boiler, because it's going to be probably the big one, and just the hose, the air hose will go probably, you know, like behind the table, and maybe, maybe I'll do like a couple of T connectors there, I'll see how expensive those are, maybe a couple of T connectors so I can actually just easily swap tools at each table without actually going crazy with the hose itself. I'll see how that, you know, if the, if the seals will hold and everything, if it's, if it's gonna be convenient. And there's gonna probably will be, there probably will be one more hose running ar around to the grinders because the, I ordered that cool mist. And like I mentioned before, the cool mist is powered also by compressed air from the air compressor. So I will need access for the air over here as well. And uh, since that's gonna be the container area, the blasting cabinets will be there as well. So I will need an air hose for that as well. So, you know, still a lot of work to do, but you know, soon I will be actually able to start working the basics. And then as I'm working, you know, slowly doing those changes and upgrades in the shop. But you know, still the main thing is waiting for the waiting for the container uh, to get here and start unloading. That's gonna take a couple of days just to take care of the house inside. You know, to all the furniture and everything, but you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. It's one of those that's the type of work that it's not really a work because it's you know, fulfilling dream. So it's the nice work, it's the good work. So guys, thanks for watching. Oh, oh also by the way, I will probably I'm thinking about building some kind of you know, idea based on just a regular coat hanger to make it small for the belts, you know, some simple stand-alone unit, maybe like buying some cheap hanger and just screwing on two or three, maybe like two cross, cross-connected two by fours with just a log, longer screw screwed into them to make as a hanger for the belts. So it's not gonna be long, I don't have to have it hang on the wall or somewhere and I can just move it around, it, you know, take it out of the way but it's gonna be plenty of you know dividers there for all different belts. So you know, in the end of the day, no matter what I'll do, it's still gonna be hundred times, thousand times better than what I had until now. So you know, it's a win-win situation, hopefully. So guys, thanks for thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.